Welcome back everybody. It is lesson 1.5. Today we're going to focus on lobbyists. Huh? What's a lobbyist? Well, stick around and let's learn something. It's true. What do? What do lobbyists actually do? This is welcome, everybody. This is lesson 1.5. We are going to figure out what lobbyists do. First, we need to find out what a lobbyist is. And a lobbyist is someone who is hired by a group to speak with and influence government officials. And this can actually get pretty interesting. Um, a lot of times people will make connections to lobby groups as um, something from, that you might see from the movies, for example, where a politician is being bribed or paid off um, to vote in a certain direction or whatnot. And yes, that does happen. But to combat that, what we do now here in Canada is all lobby groups must be registered with the commissioner of lobbyists so that everyday average Canadians like you and me, your parents, can know who they are and who they represent. Because lobbyists, they provide different perspectives and expertise on different issues that might not be in the same line as other Canadians or might not be in the same line as even some of the politicians that they are meeting with. Their ultimate goal the ultimate goal of a lobbyist is to influence politicians. So they want certain legislation created that would benefit the group that they represent. So in this example here on the right-hand side, I've got uh, lobby groups for the Non-Smokers Rights Association, and they've lobbied the government to result in tougher controls on smoking, including government warnings on cigarette packages, bans on smoking in public places, and you can't even go to the grocery store or the, uh, the convenience store or gas station. You can't even see cigarettes anymore because they are behind some sort of barrier and not even available to look at from the general public. And the Non-Smokers Rights Association is a lobby group that has lobbied the government to pass these rules, to pass this legislation to make, um, to make it better in their opinion, to make it better for Canada. Now, there's also going to be pro-smokers groups as well. There's going to be petroleum lobby groups. There's going to be animal lobby groups. There's going to be farmers and you name it. Um, if there is a if, if there's a group that needs something passed in legislation, there is probably going to be a lobbyist group, a lobby group attached to that idea or t attached to wanting to pass that legislation. So it's really important that they do register with the commissioner of lobbyists so the average person can see who their member of parliament, maybe who their senator, or maybe even the prime minister themselves, who are they meeting with and why are they meeting with these people. It's a short lesson. There's a lot more information that's out there on lobbyists, but for what we need to know, it's all covered here in this one slide. So head over to your notebook and complete the questions for this part of the chapter.